Now that the iPad Pro 9.7 inch model has been out for a while, we're starting to see more third party cases and accessories come out for it. In this video, we're going to be reviewing one of our latest favorites, so check it out. Hey guys, it's Dan with Smart Fox Computers, and today we're going to be doing a review of the Poetic Turtle Skin Case for the iPad Pro 9.7 inch model. Now, as I said before, there's a lot of cases coming out for the 9.7 inch iPad Pro, and the Poetic Turtle Skin Case is uh, one of our more recent favorites, so let's check it out. The case itself is a soft silicone rubber type case. It's got a nice feel to it. It's very grippy. It has this texture that runs around the sides of it. You'll notice that the volume buttons are covered by the case, but they're very responsive. Here on the bottom, there's an opening for the lightning port charger and openings for the bottom speakers that sort of channel the sound towards you here. On the other side, you've got that same grippy texture. And then on the top, you'll also notice that the power button or lock screen button is underneath the case as well. It's still very responsive. And there's holes at the top for the speakers on the top that also sort of channel the sound towards you. Back of it looks like a turtle shell, sort of. Very grippy, very comfortable. Now let's check out the case with the iPad Pro 9.7 inch inside of it. Getting the iPad into the case is fairly simple. You just sort of wedge it down into one edge of the case here and the rest of it kind of rolls around until you sort of feel it snap into place. Now once you've got it in the case, it really does have a nice feel to it, even more so with the iPad inside of it, very grippy. Uh, it does add quite a bit of thickness to the iPad, but overall it still doesn't seem overly bulky, especially for this type of more rugged case. Now, in our testing, we found that all the ports line up perfectly, uh, the charger plugs in fine, the uh, headphone jack and everything line up great, the speakers sound great coming through the ports, the volume buttons, as I mentioned before, they work perfectly, as does the screen lock. Everything is very responsive and works very well with the case on it. And although I didn't mention the headphone cutout when I was reviewing the top of the case, I wanted to mention that it's a nice size opening. It works really well, not just for Apple brand headphones, but really for any headphones that we had, even those with a larger plug. And overall, the case just feels really nice and really solid. I also wanted to mention that there is a ridge around the case itself that's a little bit higher than the screen. So when you put it face down on a table, the glass does not make contact with the table or the surface that you would put it down on. There's another feature of this case that I thought was really great. On the back here, there's a little silicone loop that sort of pokes up. And if you take your Apple Pencil, it slides down inside this and serves as a holder for your Apple Pencil. Another thing worth noting here is that the case grips the Apple Pencil very snug, so there's no concern about it coming out or coming loose. And throughout our testing, it stayed put. Now, obviously, if you set the case down on a surface with a pencil in it, it's going to have a slight slope to it, but it really wasn't much, and the case doesn't wobble with the pencil inside it. We found it really wasn't even a distraction to use it with the pencil inside of it. Now, I'm not sure this is an intended feature, but there's been a lot of complaints about what to do with the cap for your Apple Pencil when you're charging it. This case actually holds the cap to your Apple Pencil, so the chances of losing it are much less when you have a spot for it. And again, it holds it very tightly. So uh, we found that's sort of a nice, uh, maybe accidental feature. One thing you always wanna make sure when you buy a case for a device that has a flash on it is that the opening around the flash is large enough that the flash itself won't reflect from the case and add shadow to your picture or a tint to your picture from the uh, reflecting off the back of the case. The Poetic Turtle Skin case has a cutout that's plenty large enough for the flash. We found that the iPad takes great pictures inside the case. And there's also a cutout for the microphone so there was no obstruction of sound when recording video. And very much like the opening for the headphone jack, the opening for the lightning port is large enough that it works not just for Apple branded lightning cords, but also some third party lightning cords that may have a larger connector piece. We tried it with an Amazon charger and it worked fine inside the case. One more thing I wanted to mention about this case is, although I couldn't get it to come out on the video in a way that you could tell, the speaker sound quality from the iPad Pro 9.7 inch is not hindered in any way from the case. In fact, 
it almost sounds a little better with the sound channeling through the holes directly towards you. So to wrap up our review here, we found the Poetic Turtle Skin case for the 9.7 inch iPad Pro to be a very nice case at a very nice price. It feels like it gives the iPad a medium to high level of protection and it's especially nice in that it has a holder for the Apple Pencil in the back. If you're in the market for this type of case, we can certainly recommend this one. If you enjoyed our review of the Poetic Turtle Skin case for the iPad Pro 9.7 inch, please give us a like and subscribe below. Thanks a lot and we'll see you in the next one.